Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to present to you 10 must-have add-ons for your next game jam. It's the perfect time to use them as the GoGodo game jam has already started. But don't worry, you have until the 2nd of June to submit your game. It's a Godot-focused game jam where you have to create a game in 9 days with the theme Growth. Don't hesitate to join, it's going to be super fun. I'm participating in the jam myself, so I hope to see you in the submissions. Let's start with the first one. The first add-on I want to talk about is a very simple one called Trail System made by OBKF on GitHub. It's an add-on for both 3D and 2D that will add a simple trail effect to any of your moving nodes. I love to use this add-on, especially when making 2D games. I think it can really add something to your art. Let's take a simple example. I made a game for the score space jam number 13 and I didn't have a lot of time to make the game. I added the trail system to the player which make a huge difference in my opinion. Here's a comparison of the game with and without the trail. I think it really adds something and without it, the player feels too simple. And because it's a ball, it's hard to understand where it's going. It's very easy to set up and you can control the color, the resolution, the curve, etc. It's basically the same for 3D and as you can see from this demo video, it can achieve some very cool effects. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. The project comes with demo scenes that will help you set up the add-on. For the Next add-on, I'm showing you Regular Polygon 2D by RoboYorkie on GitHub. It's a very simple add-on that makes basic polygon shapes right from the editor. When making a game jam or prototyping, the Polygon 2D node is very useful. But if you want to set up regular shapes like square or hexagons, you need to enter the data manually. This add-on lets you choose the size, the number of sides, and even the colors with the possibility of adding edges. The collision shape will be created at runtime, which makes it even more useful. This add-on is great but could be made even greater with more predefined shapes. If you'd like this add-on, check out the link in the description and maybe add your contribution. The third add-on is pretty specific but at the same time can be used in many situations. This is RNG Tools by James Westman on GitLab. This add-on will provide a single tone named RNG Tools that allows you to make different random operations with ease. You can shuffle arrays, pick from a set of weighted options and more. This makes the process process of using random numbers in your game so much easier. It makes choosing a loot object so much easier for example. And if you want to check it out or even contribute, check out RNG tool, link in the description. The fourth add-on on this list is Godot Transition, made by Nightblade9 on GitHub. It's a super simple add-on with a pretty self-explanatory title. It basically provides a singleton, named Transition, to help you transitioning between scenes. Right now there's only three transitions, blend with noise, blend with cone gradient, and crossfade. Because the blend transition uses images, you can totally add your own. You might think that this add-on is not that useful, but when making a game in a game jam, every minute count, and adding transitions can be a pain. Having an add-on to do that for you is a blessing, and I hope to see more transition in the future. That's also why I'm talking about this add-on. I'd love to see more people contributing, and maybe add more transitions. The fifth add-on is a 3D add-on named Old Style FPS Controller by OXS Pig on GitHub. This is the perfect kind of add-on when making a game during a jam. It saves you all the headache of setting up a good first-person controller. This one is more of an old-style controller with bunny hopes, air strafing, and a broken version of move and slide as the creator calls it. This means that your player will go as fast as on the floor when climbing or going down slopes. This is perfect if you want to make a fast-paced shooter for example. It even comes with jumping and crouching so you should be able Able to use this controller right into your project without any hassle. He made a quick video demonstrating his add-on, so check it out if you want, link in the description. 2D Destructible Object is an add-on made by Hewlett on GitHub. With it, you'll be able to make any rectangle sprite explode in many parts with physics. The setup is pretty simple and everything is very well explained in the GitHub readme. You have a lot of parameters to play with to change the number of debris and the forces that will be applied. You even have explosion particles built in. This can add a lot to a game jam entry and will make every game so much cooler. I really recommend giving it a try whether it's in a game jam or for your own projects. I can tell you that these last four add-ons are absolutely amazing. Let me present to you Smart Shape 2D, a polygon editor made by Sir Ramesk on GitHub. This add-on is simply amazing and I've used it in a couple of projects and game jams. It lets you set 
set up complex polygon shapes right in the editor. But it gets better, you can add filling textures and border textures. Because you're editing the polygons with curve, you can easily make curved terrain. And the best thing about it is it will automatically set up static body collisions if you want to. This add-on is awesome because you can prototype and test your levels in no time. You can easily combine rectangular shapes with more rounded ones to give a very unique feel to your game. By applying some cool textures, you'll immediately got a very nice environment that could set your game apart from the competition. As with the previous add-on, the documentation is very clear and will easily guide you through the setup. There's a lot going on when setting up the nodes, but don't worry, the step-by-step -step guide is very well made and you'll have it set up with textures in a few minutes. I really recommend checking out this add-on and because of the quality of this one, you could totally use it in a bigger project. Show Sir Ramesk some love and go check out his amazing work. If you liked the previous add-on, you'll love this one. Godot hate map plugin made by Zalin on GitHub is an amazing 3D terrain editing tool, super fast and easy to use. Just like the last two add-ons, it has some amazing documentation that will guide you through the setup and usage of this tool. If you don't feel like reading, there's a super good getting started video that I've linked in the description. I've had the opportunity to test it out when making my Valheim tree chopping mechanic recreation and it was honestly super easy to use. You set up an H-terrain node and you can basically start sculpting your terrain. It comes with texture support and the ability to lay out grass super easily. If you don't feel inspired, you can use the random generator as a starting point. Of course, the add-on will generate collision, so you can just drop in a character controller and wander around. The add-on even supports level of details and exporting terrain data. Just like the last add-on, it's an amazing tool that could totally be used in bigger projects than a game jam. To continue with terrain and 3D, I present to you Scatter, made by Hungry Proton. This add-on lets you randomly fill an area with props or other scenes. This is super useful to quickly create some good-looking environment. So after you made your terrain with the last add-on, you can use this one to add some flowers, trees or buildings for example. You're starting to get used to it, this add-on has some very nice documentation. The installation and basic setup page is very clear and you should be ready to place objects in a matter of seconds. It comes with cool features such as excluding areas from your shape. This add-on is actively developed and you can follow Hungry Proton on Twitter for more frequent updates. If you want to see it in use, I've linked videos about it in the description. Again, this is a very high quality tool that can be used in many different projects. The last add-on of this list is pretty awesome when you want to work in 3D voxels. It's called Voxel Core, made by Clive Thy Lord on GitHub. It's a voxel tool that allows you to create, import and even edit voxel in-game or in-engine. This is the kind of add-on that can speed your game development tremendously. Imagine wanting to do a voxel game for a jam, you simply drop voxel core into one of your projects and start editing right into Godot. This is awesome and makes prototyping or creating all kinds of voxels objects super easy to do. Of course, it comes with a very well-written documentation that will help Help you getting started on creating or importing voxel content. If you prefer watching a video, the creator made a short video showing you how to get started editing voxels right in Godot, link in the description. I think this add-on is a must if you want to work with voxels in Godot. It's developed by Clyde Thy Lord for him to work on his project called Foxly, so I think it's safe to assume that you can use this add-on in more serious projects. That was my top 10 recommendation for useful add-ons that you can use in your game making process and especially during game jams. Don't forget to check out the descriptions for the links and to take a look at the one that didn't make it to the list. Just to name a few, Universal Sky by 7 Leo Dev to quickly create skies with time of day support. Procedural Maze by Rodzilla to create 3D procedurally generated mazes and Waterways by RNK Lit, an amazing add-on to create rivers with foam, bubbles and buoyancy and much more. Check out the description. If you have some favorite add-ons that you want to mention, please leave them in the comments below. If you're watching this video before the 2nd of June, you still have time to enter the Go Godo game jam, so head to itch.io and check it out, the link is in the description. To everyone making games for this jam, keep it up and and we'll see each other in the submission. In the meantime, have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.